Hello, I'm Brian and welcome to my very first video on my path to Paphos, my emigration to the beautiful country of Cyprus and hopefully into the Paphos area. Now, you might be wondering why I'm doing a video about Cyprus sat in a glacial tarn in the northwest of England. Well, this is where I live. This is the town of Brampton, just outside Carlisle, about 10 miles outside Carlisle. And this is a fabulous little talking tarn, um, a, a, a lake, um, a tarn being a small lake, a, a lake um, which was carved out in the last ice age with uh, glacial erosion. We'd leave in this fabulous little um, waterway here, which is used for all sorts of things like, the, like boating and canoeing and all sorts of things. It really is a beautiful little place. Very, very attractive to people. You can see on some of the photographs I'll throw up here and some of the videos that it's a very attractive place for people just to come and spend an afternoon. There's a lovely little cafe there. And I've had to wait a little bit for people to disappear because it's been so crowded. But what's this series about? Well, in about 1993, 94, I spent my first time in Cyprus. My sister was uh, married to a guy who was in the Royal Air Force and he was posted across to Cyprus, to Akrotiri. And we decided we are gonna have a holiday across there. Didn't really know the country at first. And I'm quite a conservative sort of person in so far of myself. I, I'm not into the, the, the heavy nightlife. But of course we went across to Ayanapa on the east coast, which is the party capital of Cyprus, or one of the party capitals of Cyprus. Wasn't really our scene, but we did get the opportunity to spend a lot of time driving around the island, um, guided by my sister and brother-in-law who'd had some time living out there. And it gave us the opportunity to go and see the real Cyprus. Now Cyprus, I'll come into in later videos in this, because I'm going to cover all sorts of aspects of Cyprus over the next few months on this series. But Cyprus has had a troubled history and still has some troubles in its, in its present time too. And I'm well aware of those troubles. I'll take you through and I'll tell you the bad parts, but hopefully I'll tell you the really good parts. And the really good parts for me were just the island itself. The island, the people, the, um, the attitude over there. It's, it's absolutely fabulous. So we went several more times in the 90s. We stopped going to Ayanapa and started going to Limassol, which is round about the center of the country on the southern um, coastline and that suited us an awful lot better we went there quite a number of times in the in the mid to late 90s um, including after my sister and brother-in-law had been posted back to the UK because we just fell in love with the island we fell in love with the people we found that the people are very friendly majority speak English um, although I do try and speak as much Greek as I can because we're going to the the Greek side and again I'll come into that because it is a, a divided island um, with, the world's with the world's last remaining divided city. And again, that's for a later video, so keep watching for these videos. But it's an island which I just find friendly. I find the people to be really welcoming. And we fell in love with it. For many years, though, we didn't go there. We did the bigger holidays. We went to uh, Florida a couple of times, to Disneyland and things like that, when we had the kids growing up. We went to... Um, to some Mexican islands we went off to the Dominican Republic and we did all sorts of other holidays in that time but we always had a hankering back for Cyprus and when I had my 30th wedding anniversary with Sue we decided the whole family were going to go across to Mallorca that's a bit of a diversion when I'm talking about Cyprus but bear with me we were going to go across to Mallorca myself my wife my daughter and her partner and also my granddaughter and her stepbrother and we went across to Mallorca in October 2018. We had a good time, but it gave us a little bit of hankering for being away because we hadn't been away for a while. We both had very, very busy lives. And um, this was the first opportunity we'd had in several years to get away. So come Christmas 2018, Sue and I turned to each other and said, well, what do you want for Christmas? And we have this problem in, amongst, in my house. Small things we'll just buy. If we need something, we'll buy it. Um, we'll save up and buy what we need, small things. Big things is a joint decision. We don't buy big things for each other for Christmas. We'll have a joint decision as to whether the funds go on that and whether we can afford it properly as a couple or not. And it's always ended up that we just buy some rubbish, some tat for each other because we feel obliged to buy a present. And we decided this was a bit silly. So rather than buy presents, we decided we were going to go on a holiday an out of season holiday and in January 19 uh, January 2019 we decided we we're going to go on a last minute trip across to Paphos 
Now we'd only visited Paphos once and that was on our last trip to Cyprus in about 1999. So this was 20 years later and we, we liked it. It seemed a nice place. It seemed a nice sort of uh, harbour harbour town with um, quite a nice old town up from it. But we'd only really been to the harbour area and we booked a hotel just for one week in January. Now January over there is very similar to a nice British summer temperature wise, about 17, 16, 17, 18 degrees. And for us it was just perfect. And we went across to Paphos. Big changes from the time we'd been there before in 20 years because in 2004 Cyprus became uh, part of the European Union. And we went across and once again fell in love with the country. But more than anything else, fell in love with Paphos. It suited us. The pace of life there was really good. The climate was a couple of degrees cooler than on the east coast. The beaches aren't quite as good, I would say, but um, there was an awful lot to do and see. And so the next year, we went back again. Different hotel, but this time for a fortnight and this time in February. And since then, we must have been back 10 times between us and we thoroughly enjoyed it. But about 10 years ago, in the, in the mid to early 2010s, I personally made a, um, a choice in my head that I, wouldn't, I didn't really want to be living in the UK anymore for various reasons. Um, obviously, that was a unitary decision and it wasn't a decision I could act on because my wife had family and commitments and she wanted to stay here. But as time has gone on, she's decided that she would like to make a move too. And because we're both so enamored with Cyprus, we've decided we're gonna try and emigrate to Cyprus, to Paphos. Now this is a difficult route. And again, in later videos, I'm gonna take you through all the little bits and pieces. I'm gonna tell you all the, all the pitfalls and all the triumphs that we have. But one of the things, of course, I've just said, they became a member of the Uni European Union in 2004. In 2016, the UK voted to come out of the European Union and indeed in 2020, we finally did. So where we could have came across as European citizens previously on our passports from the UK, suddenly we couldn't. And that posed a bit of a problem. And that caused me to start looking into family history and whether I could get a, a European passport through another means. And at the moment, I'm almost there. So follow me in these videos. Thank you very much for watching this one. Don't forget, it's very early days on the channel. The channel isn't monetized at the moment. So if you could see your way to give a big thumbs up on this video, it really does help because YouTube's algorithms see those thumbs up and make it much easier for other people to see them. It spreads it. And also, way right down there, if you have a look, I think it's down that corner, you will find that there's a subscribe button. Please consider subscribing to the channel because again, that really makes a huge difference. It doesn't cost you a penny, but it does mean that YouTube will promote the videos for more and more people to see because there's a lot of people who may be in this, in this boat and not just going for Cyprus, but going for any country to emigrate to. So yes, give me a big thumbs up. Give me a big um, subscribe. If you'd like to support the channel, we're not monetized as I say at the moment. There's a little PayPal link underneath if you would like to give a, a small donation to help us make these videos. I really would appreciate it because um, the, 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 it, it costs money to make videos for YouTube. So if you can do that, that would really be good. And um, leave some comments below. I'd love to know if you've gone down this emigration route, not just to Cyprus, but to any other EU country from the UK, um, and how you found it, what pitfalls you had. Let me know about your trials and tribulations. But as I say, my path to Paphos is um, underway. I've got lots of things, personal things, as well as the the the, uh, the travel. So once again, thanks very much for watching this, this uh, small video. And I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Don't forget, give us a subscribe. Hit the notification bell. If you can hit all if you want to see further videos come up. And it'll tell you when they're ready. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.